today's word of the day. Acts chapter 22, verse 14. It says, Then he said, The God of our fathers has chosen you, that you should know his will, and see the just one, and hear the voice of his mouth. Amen. Praise the Lord. Then he said, The God of our fathers has chosen you, that you should know his will, and see the just one, and hear the voice of his mouth. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, there is a lot in this one verse. There's like four different things that we can discuss and highlight here today. The first part is the God of our fathers has chosen you. Praise the Lord. The God of our fathers has chosen us. That's why we're here. That's why we're on this call today. Praise the Lord. In John 15:16, Jesus said, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should be remain, should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. Praise the Lord. So evidence that he did choose us like he chose Paul to uh, be fruitful and to be a part of his kingdom. Praise the Lord. The next part of our verse today is that you should know his will. God wants to reveal his will to each and every one of us. In Romans 12, verse 2, it says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you should you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. As he draws us to himself through his word, he will reveal his will for each and every one of us, and we will be blessed. Praise the Lord. Acts chapter, uh, back to our verse again. Uh, the third part of this is that we would see the just one, to see him. What does that mean, to see him? Well, we, I love to use this reference in the book of Job. Uh, we, I've heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Praise the Lord. We all have heard about God. We've experienced things about God, but God is going to bring us to the place where we can truly see him the way Job did after what God allowed him to go through. Now he was able to see him and not just know about him and hear about him, but to actually have an intimate relationship with him, seeing him for who he is. And that's where he's bringing us as well. Praise the Lord. And the final part of our verse today is that we would hear the voice of his mouth. Praise the Lord for that. In John 10 verses 27 through 30, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Amen. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for being the fact that you have chosen us, and you are going to cause us to know your will. We are going to, you're going to cause us to see you for who you are, and you have already given us an ear, ear to hear your voice, but in the days to come, we will hear much more clearly. For now, we see dimly as in a mirror, but then we will be face-to-face -face with you and hear you clearly, see you clearly, and we will be blessed all because of your love and your wonderful work in each and every one of us. We thank you for all of this. We give you all glory and honor and praises. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day.